I even had to buy a new pair of glasses after watching the show. So yeah, make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe to the YouTube channel. Make sure y'all join on Facebook, Instagram. It ain't gonna cost you nothing. So stop wasting your time watching other podcasts. It's the only one you need. Y'all know what it is. It's the smartest dog people. Hey, yo, what's up? Have you seen the Smartest Dumb People podcast? Yo, are you dumb? I'm getting smarter just thinking about it. Politics, sports, your mama, whatever. <laughs> the Smartest Dumb People podcast cover everything. With Anthony, that dude, Johnson, and special guests, you're about to learn everything you need to know about everything. Yo, yo, what's up? At the hottest podcast in the city, the smartest dumb people. I'm here with my nigga, that dude, Johnson. You know what I'm saying? We go way back like four flats on the Cadillac. Y'all tune in every week or every time. Hit the like button. Subscribe. Do what you're supposed to do. Like, comment, share. Tell your people about it. Y'all know what it is. It's the smartest dumb people. See, man, when you get that type of money. He literally sing with other people. So, like, this is the story of the best podcast in the city. Thank you. I'm not pandering. You know what I'm saying? And they take vocals and, you know, split me. That's how I'm living with you, huh? You're a real hustler, huh? That's pretty neat. Uh, I like to it. But, uh, I also, uh, met the team. She, they know she likes to go outside and play soccer by herself. We have to. Welcome, this is the smartest dumb people, and I'm the host, Anthony, that dude, Johnson. And always, 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 there's going to be somebody at this table with me. Today we got D-Nice in the building, and Devin, I appreciate you for coming through. Yes, sir. From Nappy Face Entertainment, and On the Top Records. On yes, the Top Records. On the Top Records. And, and I'm going to be honest with you, I took a shot before we started, and I haven't drank all week, so I'm a little tipsy. <laughs> yes, I took a shot, I ain't going to lie to y'all, I'm a little tipsy, so I need to get on my game right now. So... Let's get straight to it, man. Devin is uh, actually D Nice manager. He reached D-Money. out to me. D Money, D Money, D Money. I said D Nice. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, all good. Yeah. It's all good. Yeah, it's, it's, it's crazy that he say that because in the streets, you feel me? They do be calling me D Nice, so it's crazy that he, he <laughs> say it. All right, so let's get straight to it, man. Like I said, your manager reached out to me, man. I heard the song. I loved the song actually, and I felt like it had a powerful message. Uh, I think that it's only right that we play your song before we even get to it so they can understand the meat and bones of who you are as a person, as an artist, mm -hmm. and then we can get to know you as a person. We'll be right back with y'all. All day I'm grinding, I ain't grinding just for nothing. If I tell you I love you, I didn't tell you that for nothing. If I ever roll with you, I don't ride with you for nothing. For nothing. For nothing. You talking slick to me, don't be talking for nothing. Feeling froggy, leap, but don't you leave for nothing. They hate it on me, promise they'll hate you for nothing. For nothing. For nothing. I'm like, fuck what they say. I'm trying to get paid. I'm trying to live life. I'm trying to build rage. My people can't sleep, but most of them sleep. And it be written all over their face. People gon' love you the same way they hate. Gotta make sure that your family's straight. People gon' lie, these numbers don't lie. They never thought they would see it this way. I came from the mud, don't do it for nothing. Cops killing niggas over a color and tearing hair to make a show it's true color. They tryna make more room for these suckers. People is jealous, they just can't help. I wanted more than the hand I was dealt. Could get it from them, so I did it myself. I promise I don't do this for nothing. All day I'm grinding, I ain't grinding just for nothing. If I tell you I love you, I ain't telling that for nothing. If I ever roll with you, I ain't ride with you for nothing. For nothing. For nothing. You talking slick to me, don't be talking for nothing. You feeling froggy, leave, but don't you leave for nothing. They hate it on me, promise they'll hate you for nothing. For nothing. For nothing. For nothing. Martin Luther King ain't die for nothing. Malcolm X ain't die for nothing. Dr. Savy ain't die for nothing. Nipsey Hussle ain't die for nothing. Every time I drop it, don't drop for nothing. Every gun I shot, it didn't shoot for that. Why the money going out? The money coming in, the money don't come for nothing. Did my time in them jail cells. Knew one day I prevail. Y'all can't stop me, I'm gon' make it. Y'all gon' love it or y'all gon' hate it. But y'all still gon' have to face it. You don't know what I'm I did a lot and I shot to the top, my whole life been 
All right, y'all. So that's D Money with what is it called? It's for nothing. I'm gonna be honest with you. I heard it a couple times today, and I thought it was a vibe. And I was like, I was telling you before we started the show, uh, you kind of reminded me of Joy Badass because of the message behind what you were saying. And, and you actually mentioned Martin Luther King. Uh, we got Malcolm X. Like I'm one of those dudes that believe in positive black icons that were standing for something. And like I said in the video, you had a message. Hip hop is missing messages. What made you even consider being a rapper? Well, just young growing up, I listened to Eminem, I listened to Lil Wayne, and really Lil Wayne was really my number one idol, so just listening to him, just him taking his mind to another place with the music, so it was like, gave me another place to be at with my mind, you know what I'm saying? What made you hook up with Devin? Um, just uh, performing at shows and I seen that he was a promoter and he was promoting a lot of people getting their music out in the um, local community and just different places around the local communities too, you know what I'm saying? So he came at me with an offer and I said, so I said, yeah, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Because I like the offer, you feel me? He ain't trying to get over on people at all, you feel me? And you can control everything you do, you know what I'm saying? Mm. He just organize it for you and keep keep everything good, you know what I'm saying? So with Nappy Face uh, with Nappy Face Entertainment, I originally was talking to you and I said Nappy Face Records, you said no entertainment. Yes, and sir. I was like, oh so you do more than just yeah. a record label or anything like that, even though you have on top records. It's uh it's solely about you being a promoter and a producer and basically an entrepreneur when it comes to getting the music out, getting yeah. entertainment out. Yes, sir. What made you get into that? Oh, well, I started playing music when I was younger. I started off on guitar, did a little bit of drums, was in a band, things like that. And as I got older, I got more on the business side of things. I had a couple friends about five years ago that wanted me to start actually managing their music career because I knew the business side of stuff, I knew the music side of things. So I started doing that. Uh, we were having a hard time starting out, you know, upcoming artists getting booked on shows. So it got to the point where we ran a little bag up, started booking our own events, and that kind of flourished from there. We, for Solid probably four and a half years. We're booking probably three or four shows a month up at the Wired Pub. Mm -hmm. um, loved that place. It was awesome. We started reaching kind of a national base where we were having people come in all over the United States. We actually had a guy fly in from Israel and be on one of our shows, and that was pretty cool. And we always had D Money coming out. He would come out to some of our open mics, and everybody always enjoyed his music. I personally liked it, and that's kind of my thing too. I like to see some type of substance behind the music, you know what I mean, more than just the in-your-face, let's go out and push a negative agenda, you know, D-Money keeps a really positive substance to his music, I felt like that's something, you know, if we got behind, we could really push it out there, and over the past year, he's really kind of made some noise, his streaming numbers are up there, we been around, we got you on that 420 show uh, mm -hmm. this past year, and he's been doing some stuff out in Ohio, so. You know what's crazy is I want to pat him on the back, man. As a manager, he reached out to me, and like I said, when he reached out to me, it wasn't, oh, no, I want to be on the show. It was like, no, this is what we got. This is our structure. This is what we do. Yes, this is how we represent ourselves, and this is our artist. One of many things we got going on, you gave me a whole transcript of what you had going on. Yes, and that's how I know you're really business minded because it's rare that I get somebody that has a structure to like messaging me. I got motherfuckers that message me for jobs that got a button <laughs> and they profile picture talking about, y'all hired? You know what I'm saying? So when you get somebody that's really on some business shit, it, me being a businessman myself and an entrepreneur, I really respect anybody that's trying to push the agenda. Me, Smartest Dumb People, I had two castmates at one point in time, okay. and I was trying to make them the face of the Smartest Dumb People. I never wanted to be in front of the camera, even right. though I'm in front of the camera. Uh, I just wanted to like uh, basically showcase these two talented, brilliant-minded people, which it wind up being myself in the end. You know what I'm saying? So hey, look, the Smartest Dumb People, shout out to you for coming through, shout out to you for coming through. But I want to ask you this, when is your uh, next show? 
My next show is tomorrow, you feel me? Tomorrow, Saturday, we're going to be at the Old Face Bar in Council Bluffs. That should be 2400 9th Avenue. Again, that's 2400 9th Avenue at the Old Face Bar. Come and see your boy D Money. I believe the doors will be opening at 8 o'clock and so on forth. You know so saying? how do they how do they find your music? Where can they find you? They any platforms right now you can look it up. Money sign lowercase D capital M O N E Y money sign. You feel me? Look for that. Cause that's gonna start being everywhere. I promise you. You, know you need to be on TikTok. You ain't on TikTok yet. Cause I was yeah. I was, uh, I was, I was trying to find you. I'm, I'm on him and the rest <laughs> of our team about that, bro. I, I love do TikTok. Need to, yeah. If you are not on TikTok, <laughs> and you are a Upcoming artist, entrepreneur, business person, you need to be on there. Whether it's making videos yourself or just learning things on TikTok. There's so much stuff I've learned on TikTok, so many artists I've found. Right. Some of my favorite songs right now I've literally found on TikTok. Take that negative thing about TikTok that your friends say and throw it out the window because I promise you it's where it's get at. You a, like, get you a true team. This mm -hmm. is just my opinion on entrepreneurship, especially like like even if you got a 13-year-old son, right, or a 13-year-old child, give them control over your TikTok. Hey, I need you to post this for me. Like what, what a lot of people uh, lack is a team. Like you already got a brilliant manager that's yeah. that's pushing the envelope and making sure. Like I said, he he came here. He was like, uh, I think he pulling up in his white car. I was like, you don't know what car he was in, but he he was with you the whole step of the way of, of you coming out here. Yeah, you need definitely. people like that. Get you a good team of people. Like I said, you don't have a TikTok because me, I don't have a team. It's just me and my lady. Shout out to my baby, my my fiance. You know, but she she got that ring because she's part of the team. You know yes, what I'm saying? Sir. We like Kobe and Shaq right now. But uh, I'm, I'm just saying, like, TikTok is where it's at. So if he would have said, hey, D-Nice, this and that, which YouTube is the shit too, don't get me wrong, but YouTube is so far behind. They, they have an algorithm that they don't really... YouTube is so popular that they feel like they don't have to change. It's kind of right. like Nike. You know what I'm saying? Like, Nike had to get the Yeezys in the door to realize, oh, shit, we don't need to just sell Jordans. We can sell fucking these Yeezys for $400 a pair. So all I'm saying is that TikTok is really the way that'll take you to the next level with your music. Because like I said, that song you got is dope as fuck, and there will be kids and, and people cooking in the kitchen on TikTok playing that song if, if you push that envelope on uh, TikTok because it is the hottest... I hate saying shit out loud because they're trying to ban TikTok. But if you're trying to be an artist and actually be seen, TikTok is the first app you want to go to. Because let's be honest, mm -hmm. a lot of these apps are Stone Age, like oh, yeah. Facebook, yeah. which we're on Facebook. But I like Facebook. I like so I'm, Facebook. Yeah, I like Facebook. So I'm right. doing it for me right. and, and the platform that I like. But at the end of the day, if I could, I think uh, other platforms have too many rules. Like, for example, on uh, Instagram, you can't make posts. That's mm -hmm. what I hate about Instagram. Right, it's all picture-based. Picture yes, yeah. all picture-based. And then on Twitter, it's all tweet-based, yeah. really. Yeah. 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 I've seen some, too, recently that I don't know if they put it out, but any new Twitter accounts, they're going to charge you a dollar to make sure it's like an actual person and not just a bunch of bot accounts. That's so I think right. that might... I mean, in essence, it depends on how you look at it, but I think that might be kind of a beneficial side to it because you're not going to be getting all these fluff accounts, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. On, on the perspective of booking shows, you know what I mean? I kind of like that because I yeah. see it all the time. People are trying to fake plays or fake followers and be like, hey, man, I have 100,000 followers. I'm charging 10,000 for a show. And it's like, okay, well... We do a little digging. You got ten thousand followers with two likes on your post. Yeah. Right. Well, I believe the algorithm too. Cause I got yes. ten thousand followers and they're real. Uh, I think the algorithm with Facebook. So Facebook works like this. I well, paid. Yeah. Where I fucked up with Facebook is I paid them. Yes. That was the worst decision ever. Because after you pay them, they mm. like you're not going to get a like, a yep. share. Nobody's going to see your your things unless you give us twenty five dollars. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, mm -hmm. so um, my uh, suggestion to anybody that has businesses in entertainment, do not, not pay. Yes. Because once you pay, they they consider you a trick. Yes. And if you ain't if you ain't tricking, you ain't get. Well, yeah, and, and think of it. Life. Think of it on a logistics basis. Okay, so they're the social media platform. They're the holder of all that stuff, and. 
they're literally able to control the algorithm and feed more engagements into your shit if you pay them. So it's like, why would you support that? Yeah, they're, yeah, literally, right. they're literally censoring you the whole time, no matter what you're doing, even if it's amazing stuff you're posting, you know what I mean? They're censoring you, and just like you said, the moment you pay for a sponsored ad on that shit, you stop, it's done. You know but, what I mean? But what's they'll, the workaround? They'll take you. I personally, you know, there's there's so many other different, like, marketing tactics you can use. And, like, even this right now, you know? Yeah. This, I feel like, is one of the best ways. You know what I mean? Now, getting people to see the video, that might be a little bit more tricky. But it's like, this isn't costing you nothing. You know what I mean? You and a group of friends, you set up a camera and just live stream your life, you know what I mean? And push that out. No, Some that's not true. You said that completely wrong. He said this is not costing you that. This costs well, a lot of money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This yeah. costs a lot of money. You, 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 you get what I mean, though. Like, <laughs> yeah. You don't have to have a professional setup, per se. You know what I mean? This definitely goes a long so way. So it's like smarter. But yeah. you got a phone in your pocket with a camera, bro. Yeah, yeah. Film yourself. Hey man, I got this show coming up tomorrow night. Blah blah blah. Put that out. Video's the best way. But the algorithm is still affected. So right, like you that's know, that's the problem. I get what you mean with what's the workaround around that. Yeah, there, I don't think there you is know? a workaround. The only workaround you have to have a machine behind you, and a machine behind you is you got to have a following that's so dedicated. Which mm -hmm. I got a couple people. Shout out to Brandy. Shout out to uh, uh, Yolanda. Shout out to people that really support the smartest dumb people, and that's my core audience that I focus on. Like I care about their opinion, I care about what, what they think we should talk about, things like that, but at the end of the day, it's still not big enough, right. so I need them, so I have these arguments with my friends and people that watch the show, if right. you're not sharing it, I used to go to people's page and, and see if they shared the show, and I'm like, if you're not sharing it, how the fuck am I going to make it? Right. Right. I don't even think that way no more, right. so right. once I fell in love with the podcast, it's, it's so further gone than I need to share it. Right. And once Facebook gave me some money, or, or paid me, I'm like, I don't give a fuck about you, nigga. You, you, you ain't never got to share my shit again, because I'm at a point to where nobody shared my things, nobody cared about my content, right. and now I got people reaching out to me, hey man, we'd like to be on the show. It was it was my dedication. Right. It was right. my hard work. Like you said, yeah. turn it on the camera, and, and it, regardless of... They tried to mute me or dumb me down. You can't dumb down a brand. Like I said, anybody can go on their phone right now and Google me. Right. You can Google the smartest dumb people. Once you make it to that point, I'm, I'm the machine. So, uh, it, yes, I'm on Facebook. But Facebook is not, they didn't help me create my brand. Matter of fact, they actually stunted my growth. Yeah. So, But what I'm going to do is I'm going to just keep putting myself in their face regardless of what the algorithm is. And, and one day, Magic Johnson going to walk through that motherfucking door. With a big check, and I'm gonna be on ABC or some shit. Yeah, Who yeah. knows? That's how it works. You just gotta keep pushing the envelope for yourself and not worry about the algorithm. Because I was just saying, like, Facebook definitely tries to dumb down the algorithm of what you're doing if you're not paying. Yeah, but, I, I agree. I've seen it firsthand because we had an artist in the past we'd work with, and that's kind of his whole campaign he wanted to do was do the Facebook sponsored ads. We do some Instagram ones, and as soon as he stopped paying, shout his out, engagement. Shout out to Miss Ross. She said, get that team that's going to share your content without uh, looking for a benefit. See, that's the thing. So, yes, yes, so in too. social media, um, they say this all the time. Everybody want to be famous. And that, like, like I'm one of those dudes that always knew that, like, so I have these conversations with people all the time. Like, I know my place in life. Like, I've never battled with uh, identity issues. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So... So I like when I was a hustler, I knew I had to be up under somebody. I liked being an underboss. I knew I was a leader, but I also knew I could I could follow when it's time to follow. You know right. what I'm saying? And a lot of people lack that. Like everybody think that they're just this boss. Right. Like like I would need a manager. Like without my girlfriend, without my fiance, like I wouldn't have had the tools to because I don't go to Amazon. You know right. what I'm saying? Like she's the one that I'm like, babe, I'm gonna start a podcast, I wanna do this, this, and this. And she was like on Amazon, and then it's in the mail, and all right, now we're setting up everything. So she was the in, she was really the engine behind what I was doing, but I knew my role. Mm -hmm. See, a lot of people don't know their roles. Like I was talking about what Miss Ross said, like a lot of people won't share your stuff and, and without benefits. But 
you got to get to a point in life to where you got to support people, period. Right. And it's actually a topic that I want to discuss with you about uh, D1 and Rick Ross and all of that shit that's going on because, like, there's a machine behind the way the agenda of Meek Mill is being pushed. So let's just get straight to it. D-Nice. Rapper D-Nice came... Yeah, yeah. I said D-Nice? Yeah, you good. D-1. No, I was talking about the guy, though, not you. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, D-1 is his name. D-1 is his name. Too many Ds. Too many Ds. We coming out. Anthony D-Money. D-Money. D-Squad. Yeah, 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 but let's get straight to it. So D one, D one basically came out and was attacked. Not attacking. He was saying how these rappers are making all of this money off of glorifying violence. And then he spoke on like, what are they doing for the community to help the community? Uh, and basically, these rappers immediately attacked him and, and was like coming for his juggler. And, and Rick, when Rick Ross, people like Rick Ross say, I gave up 20,000 turkeys in 20 years. And I'm like, who gives a fuck? It's a turkey. Right. I can go give a homeless man a sandwich, man. That's just crumbs to what you could be doing. Instead of buying yourself uh, a, a 200 cars that you got in your lot, help these families. Go go build uh, uh, communities. Go, go build low-income homes. Go build low-income apartments. You don't see that from rappers. What you see from rappers is giving people crumbs. Mm -hmm. And what I mean by that is giving a kid a dog, which I've done. I've had backpack drives. I know that's a small thing. So me giving kids a lunch to eat and a backpack for school, in my head I'm like, I'm trying to help the community. But that's small shit to what I would do if I was worth $30 million. If I was worth thirty million dollars, I would already know. Okay, low income homes for homeless people. Fuck it being a black community or anything like that. For anybody that needs help, let's let's create a fund for veterans that have PTSD and all of these things. All I'm saying is, before we uh, speak on this topic, is I understood what D Nice is saying. I mean, D One was saying. Let's watch the clip. We'll be right back. You could do better, brother. I love you too much. I love you too much to not be honest with you. Rick Ross, you could do better, brother. Meek Mill, you could do better, brother. I love you too much not to be honest with you. Are you the face of prison reform? Because I held, uh, are you the face of prison reform? Or are you sitting here on your new song with Ross talking about getting somebody murked and shot at the red light? Which one is it, bro? Which one is it, bro? Because I did a shoe giveaway in my city and gave out 1300 pairs of your shoes because they said reform underneath them and i love that you partnered with, with a major shoe company and, and you out here pushing prison reform but now i gotta sit here like man this man glorifying getting people killed as of a week ago like what are you doing bro be honest with you there you go that's what it is bro yeah. and so if anybody yeah, if anybody feel bad about being called out, it's like let let's talk. Let's uh let, let's talk. Let's talk about it and and let and let's just figure out what we can do better. But at the end of the day, guess what's not changing? The word of God ain't changing. Okay. Uh there's death and life in the power of the tongue, Proverbs 18 and 21. That's not changing. And trying with this foolish argument that it's just it's just entertainment. This ain't real. Mm -hmm. How many more people got to die in the hood, man? How Meek Mill, you could do better, Jim Jones, you could do better, Rick Raw, you could do better, I gotta see you do better. Wait, wait, little man, whoever you is, until you feed the kids where you from for 20 years straight, don't question Rose. Wait, wait, until you buy 10,000 bikes, 10,000 trikes, give all the young girls who pregnant pampers for Christmas for 20 years straight, don't question boss. You heard me, little man? Get that basket off your head so you could think clear, little man. You going viral for speaking on names, not because of your talent, not because of your gift. Go viral, player, off of your, your, your wisdom that you're sharing. You speaking on this. Yeah, me, 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 you said, boy, you know how I many died this summer? They released self-destruction. It's dying right now. It's going to be going to make it to see in the morning. Get that basket off your head, boy, and come together with real around the world so when your grandma need a kidney nigga, since you want to go viral i'm gonna show you how to go viral little man but go viral feeding them kids in your hood really 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 do a lot yeah for the people mm -hmm. he, he talked about lyrics i don't care about none of that okay in real life in a real life i do a lot for the people Miss me with the rhetoric about what I do in my music. I get money off my music. Don't tell me how to make my dollars. You got to watch whose names you mentioning out here. Mm -hmm. You heard? Yeah. Because my little cousin might not like how you mentioned my name. Mm. You heard? 
And then he might want to slap a dread out your head just because he don't understand that you using my name for fame and he don't understand that. Yeah. There's a certain way to go about th certain things when you're using certain people's name. When you do certain things, it's a <coughs> reaction for every action. What's what the best be way? It's out now. It ain't no best way to have a conversation. <laughs> he got to see me when he see me now. Okay. You heard? If he reached he out. Ha he, had, he had the chance. He could have reached out. That, that avenue of talking to me is out. That's out. You heard? I had the same conversation with Farrakhan. Mm. How did that go? He summoned me. Uh huh. For saying his name. Oh, okay. Yeah, huh? yeah, yeah, yeah. You did? Yeah. If you know now what. The most controversial thing in the world. All right, so that's the clip, man. Let's get straight to it. Uh, you was actually speaking. I want you to keep speaking on what you were speaking on. Let's just get straight to it, D Money. What's your opinion on that? I'm going to keep it real, man. It's almost like it, it reminds me of a lot of things that keep on going on constantly, constantly. You feel me? Somebody that's speaking on another person's way of living, almost like religion. You feel me? That's why religion is the most controversial thing and the most war starting and death things that's going on in the world today because it's like. Oh, this is the way you're supposed to live. Oh, no, this is the way I'm supposed to live. Be nice just speaking on, be one speaking on, why is y'all talking about glorifying what's killing us? You feel me? And then at the same time, you feel me? They kind of defending themselves on, oh, we talk about it, but at the end of the day, we still, like, like, uh, like Lil Baby said, when uh, we was dealing with this 2020 situation, with the killings, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. how he, yeah, yeah, yeah. How he was like, you know what I'm saying? It got a, uh, it got a change and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, dang, I forgot exactly. Uh, it like it start, it start, it start, it start now. You know what I'm saying? Like, okay, we did what we did. You feel me? But, but, but at the end of the day, we trying to make a change. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? They, they came up in the game they feeding their family off the music that they made, you feel me? Probably at the times that they was at their lowest conscious, you feel me, and, and speaking and really living their but, lifestyle. But you know all right, so saying? you said it perfectly, at their lowest conscious. You yeah. where once you wake up, this is my opinion on your lowest conscious. Yeah. Once you wake up, you have to learn how to revert. Like you got enough money. Let's be honest. Rick Ross has enough money to where he ain't never gotta put another fucking album out again. He For got real. fifty wing stops okay so so let's start there so my opinion on uh this is how we feed our family see this is what's wrong to me this is what's wrong with our community we are pushing the agenda of violence yeah. and then using the excuse of i'm only pushing the agenda of violence to feed my family so it's a selfish mentality right once you get the bag i get it once you get in the game you, you're trying to finesse your way in the game. Boom, you in there. You finesse your way. Well, it might be a selfish mentality, but at the time it's not. Because it's like, how is it a selfish mentality? Because when this is all you understand, though. But Meek Mill, Meek Mill his right. prison reform, he did prison reform. Let me break down the analytics of this finance situation. Right. Meek Mill came home. He, he started prison reform. Now mm -hmm. people started listening. I'm talking about billionaires, real white billionaires, started listening to him. In that process, he Most got definitely. the bag. He got $25 million. Then he also bought a portion and a part of Liz, which means that he is a part co-owner, which he was uh, friends with, uh, what's the motherfucker from Philly, the, the billionaire from uh, Philadelphia. I, don't, I can't think of his name. But anyway, he was good friends with him. Mm -hmm. So that's why Meek Mill even got out, okay, because yeah. he paid the lawyers to get Meek Mill out. Mm -hmm. Meek Mill comes home, and now he's on prison reform, this prison reform tour, <laughs> And he's like preaching how wrong black people are in jail. They're being wrong. They're they're false charges and all of these things. Then this is where it gets eerie and weird. So then after you get in the bag with all these billionaires, you rubbing elbows elbows with all of these stars and all of these billionaires, you take it upon yourself to put out an album that you don't even give a fuck about the album sales. Him or Rick Ross is not going to starve off of the album that they pushed. Right now. If, now, I'm not saying they got to have a fucking rainbow-ass fucking uh, colored album, but you have to make sure that you, you, you explain that this is just artistry. We do not condone violence. That's, that's probably what we need to do. Just how we had the parental advisories. Uh, yeah, the, the parental advisories. What, what, as black men and as, as hip-hop artists, 
that are pushing the agenda of violence, what they need to do is they need to do a disclaimer. They need to say, hey, we are not, yes, this is know. strictly artistry and right. rap. Yeah, and it's not, we don't, we don't glorify the shit because I'm on a, like he said, yeah. Meek Mill has prison reform shoes. Yeah. Yeah. And that, but keep this in mind. This is where it gets sick about our people. Yeah. I'm going to keep it a being with you. This is where it gets sick about our people. For, for a, a, a damn near billionaire, which Rick Ross is, mm -hmm. to be offended to the point where he threatens this man, mm -hmm. it, show, it speaks value on where we are as a culture and as, as like, it speaks value. I'm talking about hip-hop culture, too. Mm -hmm. uh, it speaks value on, like, violence is still the, the end result. Because they were threatening uh, uh, Jim Jones, Rick Ross, even Meek Mill. They were threatening this guy because he's, they're like, keep my name out your fucking mouth. We'll, we'll, you don't know what'll happen to you. And it's like, he just said, like, won't you help the community better than preaching violence? Right. As y'all are threatening me, my right. life. Right. And you got to get to a point in your life, like you said, they were at a certain level of consciousness. Right, right. Once you reach that level of, oh, shit, this is what they feeding our people. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's up to you. But well, one thing, one thing about it is, is um, it's almost like D one set itself up in a line of fire. You feel me? But sometimes you, know you got to be the sacrificial. Yeah, 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 yeah. Most definitely, and that's that's cool. You know what I'm saying? But it's like when you do that, you gotta really be able to stand on what what you just just, just said, and not just with you know what I'm saying making music. You know what I'm saying? You gotta really be out here, really. He put, put in the, the foot footwork. Down. He put in his footwork like in. That. Like D Nice is not, I'm telling, I mean, D1 yeah, is yeah. not some random dude. He's been doing the footwork since the beginning of his rap career. And mm -hmm. he's always pushed the agenda of we don't have to kill each other in songs. We don't have to be violent. We don't have to sell our babies crack. We don't have to that's always been his 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 lane. The problem is, is that these these millionaires like Meek Mill and Rick Ross and all these other guys, Jim Jones, they know that they're feeding. To feed their family, they know that they're feeding violence and corruption into our community, which that's the problem that I have. So I get what you're saying, cause, but once we get out of the mentality, I'm doing this to feed my family, because we just talked about the little nine-year-old kid that got a rap song out recently, and they, everybody was saying, he getting a bag, and I'm like, so at what cost? First off, the child is talking about getting his dick sucked. talking about the 60 miles kid? Yeah, I think it's the what? little black kid yeah. that got the money. And doing, yeah. and then that's... No, he, he, he reminds me of that kid, though. But 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 the point behind it is, whoever his parents is, that's mm -hmm. child abuse. Right, right, right. I mean, realistically, bro, the the stuff that kid was saying, I had before. You know, what I mean, I don't know if you've seen the video. And they buy, and it's going viral right now. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. I probably got the clip. And I mean, he 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 slid but, on that. But listen, I'm gonna keep it real. I'm gonna keep it real. real and, that's, and that's the thing about a, a lot of things that's going on in society right now. Because, like I said, man, it's almost like I'm seeing the consciousness of demons versus angels. Like, and, I, and I'm gonna keep it real. Like this 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 twenty. Ever since 2020 been happening. On Ford, they've been talking about the planet shift, whatever they talk about, whatever that's going on, I just know there's a conscious that's rising within good and evil. And evil. And evil. You know what I'm saying? And it's showing in everybody. A lot of people that's been very good and really on this good consciousness, you feel me? They're starting to speak up more. You know what I'm saying? And really putting themselves on the front line. It's almost like the war is happening. Without us even understanding that the war is happening right now, you said you don't do this for nothing in your song. Right? Yeah, I that, don't that's, do it for nothing. But if you don't do it for nothing, you're doing it for your grandma, yeah. your, your 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 kids, your grandkids, your mothers, your sisters. At the end of the day, I feel like what D Nice message, what D One mess, um, yeah, D One message is is basically he on the same type of level I'm on, but he's more fed up than I. You know what I'm saying? Because he's willing to go crash out right now about it. You feel I don't, me? I don't feel like crashing you know out saying? is... I get what you said. I, I ain't going to say crashing out, but crashing out in a way, like it's almost, almost like... Detrimental. It's almost like detrimental because right now, because... The reason why I say that is because what he's speaking on has got other rappers killed. But when you, when you got his type of... 
there's a certain level of money you have, right? right, right. Like we all know. Exactly. Once you get D D one has enough money to where he'll never go broke. Yeah. So so that's probably why I'm saying it like that because he's willing to. I yes. guess because you like you said you got the money to be able well, to. Well, when you're it. a real entrepreneur and a business savvy person, right, right. every like even the smartest dumb people, this is just filtered money. You know what I'm saying? Like I can pay for the studio, I can pay for the cameras, I can pay for interviews. And right. it's just filtered money through taxes and all of that thing. So I'm just saying D1 is not going to hurt for money, and he cannot be canceled by a culture that's trying to corrupt us anyway. Like, they're different than the LBG community. Let's be honest. Hip-hop culture is different than the LBG community. See, the LBG community runs the machine. Hip-hop is just a small portion of it that they're saying, hey, man, y'all going to do this and push this or we don't need you. D D one is on this side. Like I don't need y'all. I got my own money, and I, don't, I I'm not trying to save face, and I'm not trying to feed my family with this poison money. Right. You know what I'm saying? I, the agenda. What's your opinion, man? Let's let's get this topic out the way. I mean, like we kind of touched on earlier, I'm always more of on the side of having some positive substance in your music. You I like know, what you like, said that about him. You said I that get, about him. you know, I get, there's a time and place for everything, of course, you know, clubs, you got to turn up to something, but I feel like, you know, when did you start listening to hip hop or music in general, like really listening to the stuff. When I'm alone I mean? in my room, I hear my conscious call, <laughs> in the back of the line, I hear my right. conscious call, like LL type shit. Like, Kids are impressionable. We were impressionable. The person you are today is from the content you watch, right. what you were around, right. the stuff yeah. you listen to. Yeah, so it's like, me, so. yeah, that's why I'm so big on that. You know what I mean? Because it's like, what happens when we're all in wheelchairs in nursing homes? Who's going to be taking care of us? You know what I mean? Do you want somebody who's gonna be raised more on the side that we were a little bit or the new world that's starting to come to be you know what I mean so it's like I feel like I get it on both sides you know what I mean because some of the stuff I was involved in in the past you know what I mean I understand the street life yeah, I understand, the street life, sure. you know what I mean not coming from a good place and stuff like that but you still got to you know it, it, it's like the saying they say you want to hang out with people that match your future not your past you know what I mean we got to start changing and the substance and things that we're pushing you know what I mean and that's the thing yeah, one thing about it is bro. like even though he's speaking out a good message you feel me now now I'm gonna just I'm gonna just put it in the perspective of what kids is going to see right with this with this whole outcome you feel me say you know he talking that stuff you feel me and like you know jim jones and i mean um rick ross R um like what rick ross and them saying about their people and all of that you know what i'm saying on how they might take it and stuff like that we gotta get saying? we gotta get out of the violent mentality we yeah. got it we uh, gotta D1 get out of doing, it but it's it's, it's still in us it's but D D one is also listen. God God got my back. That's right. what D one is saying. Right. He right. said he said, listen, I'm not gonna let the devil win. Right. And and to be honest with you, uh, you'll be a fool to put your hands on somebody that's you'll be a fool to hurt or put your hands on somebody that's trying to feed positivity into the community. I don't give a fuck. You will be a goddamn fool bro, listen, to go shoot up D nice or do some weird shit to D I mean D one yeah. when his message is just. Y'all brothers is killing each other. It ain't it, even gotta be him. It could just be like a you, random person. Just check out NBA Young Boy and his followers that get mad when NBA Young Boy is mad. It's almost <laughs> like no, for real. No, for real. That, that really no, attack. Yeah, like it's like, like a beehive. Like, 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 beehive. like Chopper, mm -hmm. NLE Chopper. You feel me? Got right. attacked by an NBA fan. You feel me? Like. Really trying to mess him up, and he. Well, that's what. That's why they need to the ban so shit like, like TikTok, though, bro. It's like it's like we no, want to. No, no, no. Listen though, no, we want to. We hate what we love. That's the main thing about this whole everything. We really hate what we love because listen, I'm gonna keep it real. The same, the same. I guarantee you, D even D one probably listen to the same music that he kind of talks stuff to. Even if he don't listen to it now, he'll probably listen to something and still vibe to it and bounce with it 
You feel me? It's the nature in the human. It's just the frequency in the beast. You feel me? We are dealing with the soul with the beast. The but flesh if, if is the beast, that, and the soul is just. If the, you know that, that that like like how you said the frequency, yeah. right? So I had my boy, I had my people on the last show. We was talking about where I will and won't go. Right? Mm -hmm. I'm from the streets too, but I don't want to go to the streets no more. Right? Because that frequency ain't for me. Okay, I would rather be around positive people, like even you. Like, I'd rather be around the guy that I know from just our conversations about him. I would rather be around somebody like him than, uh, than somebody like, man, let's go fuck some bitches tonight. For real. Let's go, let's go whoop some niggas. Like, I would rather be around somebody that's awesome. Hey, man, this is how you structure your things. Just like, like, so you got to go off of people. Like, you said it, you said it the right way. Frequency is everything. So if you know this frequency is fucked up and negative and bad for me, why would I want to be a part of that? And I think that that does come with experience. When, when I made it out the streets, and when I say made it out the streets from selling drugs and being shot and doing weird shit, to make it and, and not have a scab on me, I, I, I fear for everybody that's in the streets. I just, look, look, I feel like we all come from the streets and we gonna all stay in the streets until we get out of Antarctica and go past the great big wall. But anyways, besides that, you feel me? I feel like I feel like we just gotta know how to maneuver in the environments of everywhere that we go. And that's just like when you go around somebody and you see somebody always negative, you feel me? It's almost like a frequency of telling you to stay away from right now. But you what if you're me? forced to be there? If you're forced to be there, which, that's which a, is called being a product of your environment, is a product of your environment. That's a different story. Even as we being forced to be in our product of our environment, we could stay in our homes and to still be, be shot. And, and, and still be yeah, shot. And still be shot. You, you know that. That's what I'm saying. No matter what, how you say we make it out the streets, you still could be shot. Well, no matter what, because well, we still are in the streets. It depends streets, on no what the streets what. is to you. So, so with me. I don't put myself in the situations to where the streets have a chance. Don't get me wrong. I could be popped like any other motherfucker. Yeah, yeah. But I just, I move to where, like, I, first off, I watch my surroundings the best right. of my ability. Second thing is, I, like, I, it was on my last show we was talking about this. Like, if I know that on uh, 18th and, and such and such, motherfuckers are dying down there. What the fuck I look like going down the exit? <laughs> like, I'm going to show you the best way to move. Coming. The best way to move and the best way to, 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 to figure out the frequency is just like the animals are teaching. The animals go where it's quiet. Where it's quiet, where ain't too many movement, ain't too much, no much, much nothing. So when you when you drive in your car, if you see a place that's crowded, too much movement, you feel me? Honestly, you don't want to go there because no matter what, you're always going to have a hundred, how many ever frequencies is around is what you're going to be attracted right, to right. and is going to be attacking you at different times. So if you if we start moving like the animals and start listening to the, the earth, you feel me? I think you landed we, we with start, that. We start, we're going to start moving right. You I think me? you landed with that. I think it's time for the next topic, man. Good topic right there. That shit went way over as far as the conversation. But let's get to the next topic, man. Next topic is young kid mom wanted him. He wanted to dress up as Elsa. Uh, and his mom let him. Let's watch the clip. We'll be right back. It's kind of I love Christmas. Okay. 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 Are you having fun? <laughs> there you go. You're welcome. 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 You're Alright, so that's the actual clip, man. Let's get straight to it. I feel like Devin, it's your turn, man. You you definitely let me and um, D Money slide on these topics. I feel like it's only right we start with you this time, my brother. What what you think about that? You I let mean, your son wear an Elsa dress? 
I'm not trying to offend nobody. It's you know what I mean? So don't flavor. take it the wrong way from from nice man Dev. You know right, what I right, mean? Right. But I'm one of those people that I don't I don't I don't know if I fully agree with that one. You know what I mean? I don't I don't know how I'd feel if my kid wanted to wear an you Elsa. Know, you know there were you know, m- multiple male characters in Frozen. Yeah, yeah. Why didn't you pick one of them? I mean, and I'm not. Oh, it's well, a touchy subject. Scared. I ain't scared of motherfucking I mean? LBG. I ain't I'm scared not, of LBG. I, yeah, plus I just two. don't want to say nothing that's gonna piss no one off. Man, you know what I mean? You gotta we try to push some positive shit over here, but just let them know. You know, me. I I, I personally you. feel like yeah, we're starting to kind of build a weak country with this stuff. You well, know what I mean? You're definitely. letting the kids kind of. Make decisions have too much that estrogen should... in their lives, you know what I mean? And oh, there's nothing wrong with it to an extent, but I feel like once it comes to... I'm a boy, I want to be a girl, you know what I mean? Right. I think we got to kind of well, simmer that stuff down. You that's know a private I mean? conversation that the parents should have had. Listen, right. that video should have never even been exposed. You well, know why? Because, first of all, yeah. right, because... Mm-hmm. Now that kid's always going to be known as the Kids Elsa boy. You know fast. what I mean? Even when he's 30 years old and, hey, maybe he just wanted to dress up like it because he liked the movie. Maybe there's nothing, you know what I mean? You can't, you can't In play the, the princess. In the of it, but that's the I'm thing. I feel, deep, like, I feel like the firefighters, the policemen, you know what I mean? The army guys, what happened to that? When we were kids, that's like, we to be. you know what I mean? Right. For real, race car drivers. Or Freddy Cougar. Or yes, Jason you know what I mean? Right, right, A hockey right, right, player, right, right. football player, whatever. I'm going to keep like, it real, man. Listen, the, uh, it's, a, it's some type of agenda. And the reason why I say that is because we about to go deep with it. You got to show it, bro. Goes keep it, keep it back. It goes back with GMOs and these horn yeah. bone fools, bro. I feel like I feel like honestly, just with the COVID nineteen, all these new va- um, drugs, these vaccinations, bro. I feel like all of this stuff play a role, and I feel like the scientific community got the biggest role to play with it in this, leading us to fight with each other and blame this, blame that, blame this, blame that. When right now it's a genetic. Modernization that's going on within us that we don't even know. We got a secret, we got an invisible enemy right now that's going on. You feel me? We got an invisible enemy that's going on right now because it's not around us, it's inside of us. Just like Dr. Sebi was telling us with the bacteria. The disease is not around you, it's inside of you because you taking things that surround you, the wrong things, and eating it. You feel me? He said eat of light source. What grows off of light? Only thing that grows off of light is photosynthesis. Mm. If it don't photosynthesize, then it's not living. Mm. You feel me? Humans do not grow really off of photosynthesize. You know what I'm saying? We grow off of genetics, genes. You know what I'm saying? That's really our main growth. You know what I'm saying? So, we know, you know what I'm saying? We could grow still in darkness. We could live in darkness and still grow. Plants will die in darkness. It needs light. It needs to consume light to create food to digest. You feel me? So you think it's playing a part in the human mind? Most definitely, most definitely. Meat, all of this stuff, and I I believe we really are involved in the ritual that we don't even know we are in. And when I say that, is because most of these fools right now they are admitting it's humans, fetuses. Most of the people that's dying is being put back in our food because there's not enough animals and enough things to feed these restaurants well, and all that. That's always things been one on. of my biggest things. I quit eating red meat about three years ago because think of it logistically, dude. How many people are physically on this planet, you know what I mean, versus how many cows would need to exactly. constantly exactly. be, you know what I mean? How long does a cow have exactly. to be living before it can be butchered, you know what I mean? So it really makes you start to think, and then it's like, okay, well, I go to the store, a pound of hamburgers, what, four or five bucks now, probably? Mm -hmm. And what the fuck was in the Wendy's 99-cent burger they were just doing, you know what I mean? Exactly. really makes you Everything right now, everything right now that they put out is a... a, a, Artificial. We are lab rats right now. We've been lab rats. 
Because things that come out and then it'll have a recall on it. And I'm Facts. telling you, Facts. man. It'll have a recall on it. Right now, you could go to different labs and get paid 1500 for them to test on you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So we are being tested on yeah for the aliens knowingly, and we're being tested on secretly. You feel me? And we are fighting ourselves, not realizing that it's things that surround us that are having us do. This. I want one more topic. It's funny, kind of. It's the the video is funny, but the topic ain't. The video is the. I don't know if you see the video. Of smartest dumb people posted today. The red dude talking to Biden, and Biden was like, he sent two billion dollars over to Ukraine. I want to have this conversation. We'll be right back with y'all. You won't go half on the bill. Sorry, got lost in the sauce right there. Let me fix this. Sometimes videos don't play and I got to re resubmit them. Hold on, let me move some of this shit. You won't go half on the bill. Sorry, got lost in the sauce right there. Let me fix this. Sometimes videos don't. It ain't because I'm tipsy either. It's just the way this fucking machine works. <laughs> All right, we'll be right back with y'all. Right, though, so you just sent $100 billion of your tax money to Israel. Yep. Your tax money is helping so many people. So you telling me y'all can afford to send a hundred billion of them bitches somewhere else? And I can't even afford to fucking live? But your tax money is hard at work for the people. Oh my fucking God, where are my manners, Mr. President? I've been working 60 hours a week every week for my whole fucking life just to blow up a hospital. Good investment. Thank you so much, bitch. I can't even afford to eat a goddamn fucking meal and you talking to me about this super shit. Why is this fucking country so selfish? Bitch, let me tell you something. It costs $3,000 to rent a fucking dugout in this bitch. The price of food going up and wages ain't doing shit. But because shit keep going up, not only is the wages not going up, the shit we can buy with the motherfuckers, the amount of things, is going the fuck down. Motherfuckers ain't got health care. If I get hurt, I die. Because I can't even afford to die. And you got the nerve to call me fucking selfish, you stupid bitch. Like, nah, let me get this shit straight, though. So you sending hundreds of times the money it would take to fix the problems in this bitch somewhere else to fund a fucking genocide. But because that don't make me want to wrap an American flag around my chest and shit up my fucking back, I'm the one that's selfish. Right, though. So you just sent a hundred billion dollars of your tax money to Israel. Yep. Your tax money is helping so many people. All right, so that's the actual clip, and I definitely want to discuss this because as America did send over a hundred billion dollars, they they in our country that we're living in right now, they denied the student loans. I, I'm I'm like, and then they just had the political debate yesterday, and they were talking about how China is our enemy. Like, I don't know if people are watching TV or or into what's going on in society, but like. They basically just told China, we got a target on our back. That's like me having an enemy watching the show right now. I'm like, that bitch ass motherfucker I got a problem with. Why would I do that? So obviously, there's more going on that we know. Right, most definitely. That's what I was about to get to. I was about to be like, there's something going on behind the closed curtains. There's a lot going on. <laughs> you feel really me? Paying attention. We got That's just like with the D1 situation and Rick Ross and all of them. There's something going on in the industry, music industry, period, that people ain't trying to cross lines with. You feel me? When it comes to mobs and it comes to other people with different levels of control. You feel me? Let's get on that. What, what do you think about that video as far as it, what he was saying? I mean, I've been seeing a lot of crazy stuff. I've been seeing they're sending money over other countries. Uh, I've seen they sent over like 10,000 or 100,000 AR-15s. And I find that funny because they sent them to civilians in Israel to defend themselves. All the while, they're trying to take them from us in the United States. Yeah. So. The Israelite people need them, but we don't. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, what the hell? And it's, I mean, I personally think if you pay attention to everything that's going on, they've been saying there's people coming in in sleeper cells in the United States that are all like middle-aged men. What sleeper cells? They're like a 
they're camping out in like hotels and things like that and just kind of getting ready to cause havoc. You in know what I mean? In, in, Not in necessarily in Omaha. I was watching videos and they were like interviewing each one of the people and a lot mm -hmm. of them were saying New York, Denver, people that's getting you know across I mean, these borders. Where going and it's by the masses, dude. And there's footage of actual civilian people talking about seeing this stuff like I seen a, a bunch of uh, immigrants not immigrants as in uh, Latinos or nothing like that yeah, immigrants like as a whole they didn't Middle specify Eastern yeah, style, uh, buses you know, of them yes bus loads upon bus loads so what, it's all and if you pay attention it's all they call them like military aged men Right. There's no families, right. there's no children, you know what I mean? If those were quote-unquote <laughs> refugees, you it's know what I mean, setup. trying to come to the United States to better their life, where it fucks the rest of their family. Yeah, These right. are all in the age I'm range like, that we're going to be sending people in a draft to, you know what I mean? So. I think there's a lot of crazy stuff about to happen. I, 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 I fear it. I fear it. I feel yeah. like America... United States of America, we have united these states that we have conquered. You know what I'm these saying? Countries. These countries. Well, yeah, these countries that we have con conquered, you know what I'm saying? I feel like a lot of these people that's in, in, in power, you feel me, are set to be in power for a big takeover of America, almost. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. This is like, you know, giving your so-called enemies, which could be symbolically under the under the radar, your your ally, honestly, you feel me, or your blood people, you feel me? Because a lot of these people that so-called is that we go to war with really had blood connections to a lot of powerful political people in America. You feel me? So you know what I'm saying? I'll be feeling like everything is set up. You feel me? Just like they've been talking about People coming across the border, you feel me, being let across the border. But the news is saying how people is getting across the border. And y'all trying to get the smartest But they ain't trying to say, like, trying to get us shut down. I what's mean, really going I on point, is they're allowing go these people on. going on to the border, you feel me? You never know if these people is being set up. There's grids around America. Right. Exactly. And these people is really all in every last grid. If you really look up the grids of America... Check what? out the Grizz of America and watch and see if these that? people okay. are not around. So, you've heard the phrase, united we stand, united. divided, divided we, we fall, fall right? right? Yeah, yeah, And then we've also probably heard, divide and conquer. And conquer. Yeah, you know they've been saying? telling us. Since the dawn of time, they've been trying to divide us, you know what I mean, with everything. Right. Whether it's in the music, the black versus white, Chevy versus Ford, ass versus tits, right, right. you know what I mean? Red Everything's versus blue. Always been all the games used to be red, red versus blue. To divide. <laughs> now they're trying to de-arm the population, yeah. you know what I mean? Yep. Second Amendment, we have the right to bear arms. Right. Literally, not only to defend ourselves, but to defend ourselves from the tyrannical government, you know what I mean? One way they can stop that, divide, conquer, you know what I mean? They're trying to separate us as far away from each other, make everybody hate us. Right. goes into what we were talking about earlier about how let's push a negative agenda in music, right. let's all push violent video yeah. games, all that shit, you know what I mean? They're trying right to... Right now, if you, if, you get a, if, you get a, if you get a gun in Colum I mean, um, Colorado, I mean um, Columbus... Ohio, you feel me? You gotta, you can't, you can't get your your uh, marijuana well, license. That's everywhere. Because you know what I'm saying? We but still guns. technically, but that's 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 one of the reasons why they're they're trying to drug us mm -hmm. up. You feel me? And take away the firearms. I feel like they're you trying. Draw, you drug I up. feel like we're building a really weak country. Honestly. We drug. You know up. what I mean? And it's multiple points up. we've talked about today. So the mom letting the kid wear the girl outfit, you know what I mean? You think fuckers in Russia and China right now are cross-dressing? You know what I mean? They're literally... 
literally teaching their kids. from the time they're born teaching them to be warriors. Hey guys, hey guys, guess what? We're out of time. Out of time. Now it's time to say uh, goodbye to oh, all oh, my big girlfriends. Hey, this is good. It's really good time. This one got deep. Too deep. My baby waiting for me, man. I got to go with my baby. Oh, man. I feel that. We got to get day tomorrow. This is the smartest dog people. Yo, you got to get your pair handles real quick, D-Money. Let them know how they can find you. Man, go to any social media platform. Look up uh, money sign, lowercase d, capital M-O-N-E-Y, money sign. On top with two P records. You feel me? How can they find you, Devin? You can find me everywhere. You can type in Devin Ulrich. Uh, look for the one with the blue check mark. You can find Nappy Face Entertainment everywhere. Kind of like you were saying, just Google us. That'll get you all the info you need. Y'all got an event tomorrow, right? Yep. We are going to do the Autumn Anomaly. If you come out, I'll explain the name. We don't have time for it now. Mm -hmm. um, but it's going to be a great event. We got D-Money. We got our other artist, Milky and Air. We got our new artist, Ghostly Vibes. Shout out Ghostly. He's been at the studio every day this past week putting in work. We got an EP. Who you going to bring him through? Huh? Who you going to bring him through? I'm whenever you're free, man. Yeah, yeah, I got yeah. artists for days. Man. Yes, you do. Tap in with me, too. If you're watching it on my page, you want to link up. Get on the smartest dumb people. We'll make it happen. Anthony, that dude, Johnson. Devin. D-Money. Y'all have a great night. Yes, sir. Thanks for watching. Straight out. Hey, yo, what's up? Have you seen the Smartest Dumb People podcast? Yo, are you dumb? I'm getting smarter than just thinking about it. Politics, sports, your mama, whatever. <laughs> the Smartest Dumb People podcast covered everything. With Anthony, that dude, Johnson, and special guests, you're about to learn.